And here we are, yet another favorite weapon that was shafted from true greatness. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> when will they learn? You're a riddle locked in a puzzle wrapped in an enigma. Trust me, I know how that feels. Oh well, at least Mouser's United Sits got on our upgrade and they brought in Sig 556 and R5. Finally. Don't make a look of difference whether I like it or not. Just here to prolong our misery. For now, welcome back to Weapon Guides. Today, we're looking at what's basically a chainsaw in gun form, the MG42. The MG42, or Machete Gilhead 42, which I probably just botched the name on, is a German GPMG designed in 1942. At the time of World War II, the MG42's fire rate was no joke scary at 1200 RPM. Compare it to other MGs like M1919 Browning, Bren, and even its predecessor, the MG34, which was only 850 RPM. With a crazy fire rate, the unique firing sound dubbed the MG42 with the nickname Hitler's Buzzsaw. Nowadays, we have the M134 minigun with 2 to 6,000 RPM. But back in the day, this might as well have been the minigun before the M134's existence in 1962. The MG42 can be found from 3 dash hits onwards and also has a production time of 5 hours and 50 minutes. 21 cores will be enough for all 4 dummy links, but if you're a grinder on maps like 02, 72E, or 104E, you can stumble upon the 7 MG42s you'll need to completely eliminate the dummy link cost without too much hassle. Again, your girls will thank me later. MG42's damage of 92 is good for shredding Peggy's and Sangvit's armor, sharing that 92 damage with M60 and HK21E. It's sadly much less effective against Paradise armor and KCCO armor. Damage and accuracy are really the only two stats I'm going to cover more in depth about, so let's get the other two out of the way. Evasion is a bit poor at 26 and the fire rate of 132 matches the scary ass fire rate, being the 7th fastest shooter. And now for the second important set that nobody but me cares about. Accuracy is painfully low at 22, but understandable given its crazy rate of fire and the fact that I don't see a muzzle brake, a bipod, or anything on it. I mean, the minigun isn't exactly a stable weapon either in terms of recoil. At this skill isn't anything too special, just a 65% damage buff for 6 seconds, which buffs damage to 151.8 without any buffs from shotguns, pistols, fairies, or even the in love buff. I don't really know the specifics, but I'd say this is pretty good. At least I hope it is. In my experiences, it does its job. Tile balls are probably one of the worst things I've seen out of an LMG. Not only is the placement bad, but the buff itself is also pretty bad for shotguns. I mean, 22% on damage? I'd rather give my shotgun evasion and or armor. TP27s could at least reach the shotgun for Christ's sakes. Micah, if you're somehow watching this, if you're gonna give MG42 a neural upgrade, make it reachable for shotguns, this right here is unacceptable. For equipment, I personally prefer the RDS, especially for night ops. I know accuracy isn't a matter when you're up against armored enemies as they usually have zero evasion, but when you're forced to fight normies in night battles, that added accuracy can make the difference. Daytime fights have more wiggle room with a Neotech sight or a rifle scope, but go with a rifle scope. High damage with a good critical rate plus anti-armor advantage pretty much makes enemies ass for an ass whipping. Overall, the MG42 is a good LMG for beginners, but it's somewhat made redundant by the fact that you kinda start with an M2HB. Even still, the MG42 does its job as anti-armor and eviscerator against normies. And that's about all I can give you for this segment of weapon guides. If you'd like to see more of this stuff, I don't know why you would. There's a playlist at the end of the video you can go to. Otherwise, tune in next time when I start remaking something that you've already seen. Listen when you have the chance. Omae wa mou shinde iru. Nani?